Here we go. Hey, what's going on, my little ponies? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8, where today I'm going to be starting on the Retro Cups of this game on 200cc Grand Prix. And by popular request, or actually by little to no requests, I'm going to be playing with Iggy Azealia, a.k.a. Iggy Koopa, and I'm going to be using this Blue Falcon cart combination with the rollers and uh, just this Bowser Kite. It's a pretty... Uh, easy cart combination to use I have to say usually before I play a cup I like to practice you know just a cart combination to play with prior to actually playing the cup just to make sure you know I'm not gonna screw up big time and uh, I feel like this is a good cart combination I'm not really sure if Iggy is classified as a heavyweight character or a medium weight character he's definitely not a lightweight but he's listed like between the heavyweights and, and, and medium weight so I really don't know what he's classified as but we're just gonna say you know he's a medium weight character he's not that big or maybe he is a baby because I know in the artwork uh, for Iggy, uh, I was going to say Iggy Azealia, what the heck is wrong with me? But for the artwork for Iggy, he's actually riding the bitty buggy, which all the babies seem to love to ride. So, I don't know. Anyways, guys, before we actually, well, actually, we just began. So, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me and, you know, uh, every like helps me out and, uh, you know, motivates me. To be able to win, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to win this for you guys. I don't know. This is this is not bad. This is actually a pretty good cart combination. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, what is it called traction, which pretty much means off road. But I'm gonna get by the shell. Oh, that sucks. Stupid Bowser. Stupid Bowser. I'm gonna kill you. So there's Bowser. There's more in, and then there's Iggy. Uh, oh, and there's Lemmy. So there's like four Kooplings here. Dry Bowser is not here today. Let me try to take this. Uh, ooh, ah, oh, I, I want to take this. I want to see if it helps me out. All right. Can, oh, we'll actually be able to glide. Oh, yes, baby. All the way. All the freaking way. That is amazing. I didn't even know that worked. It's been so long since I've played any of these tracks, guys, honestly. Like, usually, or at least when I was playing this game, like, wow, stupid cow. Yeah, just walk in the middle of the street and then expect to get hit, but nothing happens. Like, those cows are made out of, like, bulletproof, uh, 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 metal. Man, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Those, those cows aren't cows, I have to tell you that. I mean, usually when you hit a cow on the road, it dies, but I say that like I know by experience. No, I don't. I've never hit anything on the road. And usually when I see roadkill, I always avoid it as opposed to driving on it. Sometimes I'll see people actually, like, try to drive on the roadkill to, like, flatten it even more. But I just can't. That's like... <laughs> usually I always see dead squirrels on the road. And it's always sad because one time, it was like it was like maybe two weeks ago, I was actually driving home from my local supermarket store. And I actually saw a squirrel trying to cross the street. But then it, when it saw cars coming, it like went back and then there was like this really, really big truck. And I guess it was going like 40 miles an hour, which is actually considerably fast. Usually when you're in a car and you're going 40, it doesn't seem that fast. But when you see a car go 40 miles an hour, that's actually really fast. If you get hit by a car going 40 uh, an hour, you could most likely die from that impact. So um, the car didn't actually touch the squirrel, but it was so close to the squirrel that it literally winded it and the squirrel just like rolled over and died like right then and there on the street and i witnessed it all it was like it was pretty horrific i'm not gonna lie i was like wow like at one point like i was thinking like maybe i should stop and see if that squirrel's okay but i didn't and then like every day i drove past that local supermarket the squirrel was just there you know more and more flattened until one day i guess it just probably got picked up by like a raccoon or you know maybe a coyote or a fox because we have foxes in our area you know, one of it must have sort of like grabbed it, ate the thing, and you know, went on its merry day. I don't really know. But yeah, I don't know why the heck I started talking about Roadkill. Oh yeah, because of uh, Moo Moo Meadows. Man, yeah, this track's actually really easy. What the heck's going on? I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Wait, what? 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 Dry Bowser is in this. Dude. Dude. What the heck? How come I didn't see him in the uh, last level? What? So there's Iggy, Dry Bowser, Bowser, More In, and Lemmy. That's like, dang, that's like five. Coo oh, Larry, not Lemmy. So one, two, three, four, five Kooplings, man. That's like over 30% of the roster here playing that are already Kooplings. That is intense. This is all about the Kooplings, man. I'm glad that I picked. Uh, I'm glad that I picked Lemmy or whatever the heck, Iggy, Iggy Azealia. 
Ooh, a cheap, cheap beach from Mario Kart DS. This is actually a very, very fun track to play, and it's absolutely gorgeous just to look at. Because, you know, going from playing, you know, this, this, this track on Mario Kart DS to playing it on this is just like, wow. This is absolutely... Look at the clouds, man. This looks like, uh, it reminds me of a lot of Sonic Generations and Sonic Lost Worlds. Two of, like, the best Sonic games graphically and just, like, you know, gameplay-wise. I think Sonic Lost Worlds is amazing. And it's a game that I'm definitely gonna let's play on my channel very soon. Oh, man. It makes me want to play Sunshine when I play this track. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastica. Ooh, watch out, little, uh... Tanuki Leaf Mario. I need to use him in like the Leaf Cup or something. Because he is the Tanuki Leaf Mario. So we already got Dry Bowser in one of the cups. Tanuki Leaf Mario. So we have one last character that we can use. And I'm actually going to leave that up to vote. Because I already have the other two characters picked out. So what do you guys want to see me use is the final character. I'm not really sure for which cup it's going to be. I think the next cup is the Banana Cup. So... Yeah, let's let's use a, a unique character in the banana cup. I think I want to use Dry Bowser in the Lightning Cup. Actually, we'll definitely use Dry Bowser in the Lightning Cup to end off this Let's Play. But who do you guys want to see me play with in the banana cup? Right now, leave your votes. The person with the most votes will actually get, uh, you know, get picked. I was thinking maybe going for like the me and then using like one of those me costumes, or maybe just saving that for an online play, or maybe uh, you know, a live stream that I might eventually not end up doing in the somewhat far future i don't really know Ooh, gotta watch out for that tree okay we got 10 coins uh we're putting a distance between me okay actually never mind i was gonna say me and tanuki mario have a distance between one another and then tanuki mario and the other people have a distance between themselves but that's not the case everybody's catching up slowly and surely yep i could see them T oh never mind i wanted to hit that red shell back at someone but it actually ended up hitting that platform that you jump off and trick off of so it's kind of pointless, but yeah. The final track in this cup, you'll you'll notice that most of these, uh, or actually all the retro cups in this game are very short, just because the levels uh, are much shorter than actual levels in the nitro cups. And not only that, but um, it's 200 CC, so we're going incredibly fast. But yeah, Toad's Turnpike. This is actually one of the best tracks, you know, out of all the retro tracks in this game. I really like this. I actually hated it way back on the N64. It reminded me of the, I mean, because it is technically, you're on a highway. And I always hated, you know, getting on highways as a kid. For some reason, I, I used to get really, like, not car sick, just uh, nauseous when I'd be in a car. Maybe it's just the way my dad's car, car smelt when I was a kid. But it always made me nauseous driving on the highway, and I always knew if we were on the highway, we were going to be on the highway for quite some time. Uh, so that's why, you know, I hated this level, because every time I played it as a kid, it reminded me of that. But playing it now, it's like a whole different experience. Looking at, like, the, the, the trees and the mountains and the clouds and just the city in the background, it's just so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of uh, Western Massachusetts, because uh, actually, uh, my girlfriend's from Western Massachusetts, and... You know, I always go visit her family with her uh, occasionally, and uh, usually when we go up there, we're driving from the airport to, you know, their place. And um, you could see, like, it reminds me of a lot of that, like, the highways there, because they're always just so scenic. They're so beautiful. You could just so mesmerized looking at, like, trees and just green and, and, and mountains and all that fun jazz and whatnot. And I'm not getting hit by any trucks or cars. That is amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. I probably just jinxed myself. I should not brag for myself at all because that usually ends up really badly. All right, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm doing good. I'm doing great, actually. No need to worry about jinx because that's never gonna happen. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Let me get that trick. I haven't gotten one of these tricks in a long time. Oh God! I jinxed myself big time. But that's okay, because look at that! I'm about to lap Isabel. Only if I had one more lap, I would have lapped most of these newbies. All those newbie players. Not even bad. And that is it, folks. We completed the first cup of the Retro Cups. The Shell Cup, actually. And we got a uh, three-star ranking, of course, by getting every single... By getting first in every single track. That's what you need to do. Even if you get first overall and you're not getting first in every track, like let's say you go first, second, first, second, and then you get first uh, overall, you're still not going to get a three-star ranking. You have to get first in all of the tracks to get a three-star ranking. 
Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, leave your votes for who you'd like to see me play as in the next cup. And leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will totally see you all in the next cup. Goodbye.